In the 1980s, coal was a useful energy source, but it wasn't so useful if your house fell into a coal mine. In Keystone Bituminous Coal Association versus De Benedictus, we'll see whether coal mine regulations were considered takings that required just compensation. Pennsylvania implemented the Bituminous Mine Subsidence and Land Conservation Act to help ensure that surface land was supported when mining occurs below. To protect the land's surface, the state's Department of Environmental Resources prevented the mining of 50% of the coal beneath pre-existing public buildings, dwellings, and cemeteries. Keystone Bituminous Coal Association owned a substantial amount of coal reserves affected by the act. Keystone owned both the portion of the land containing the coal, known as the mineral estate, and the portion of the ground that supported the surface above, known as the support estate. Keystone sued the department's secretary, De Benedictus, for violating the Fifth Amendment's takings clause on its face. The district court granted the department's motion for summary judgment. Keystone appealed to the Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. The Third Circuit affirmed, holding that the act didn't amount to a taking because Keystone's mines were still profitable and that the act was justified by the public interest it served. Keystone appealed to the United States Supreme Court.